welcome to D20 Death Row! Okay, all right, all right, okay. Ouch. Yeah, wow! <laughs> welcome to D20 Deathmatch, everyone. Where we are loud for no reason, and you can all suck it. That's that's it. That's the show. Good night. That's not it. That's not it. We have so much more <laughs> planned besides just the Lord of Fate screaming his head off. <laughs> well, I mean, we have more planned, but it's not going to be any good. How about you just go <clears throat> ahead and take us into the Dread any, Fortress? Anyway, how about that? How about that? here we yeah. go. We find ourselves once again in the Dread Fortress. The walls of the Dread Fortress moist with condensation as the lava meets the cool air inside the lord of fate in his italian leather shoes clacking ac across the cold stone they're echoing fake. they're not real leather they are what are you talking about they're cacti handcrafted leather. pretty sure they're handcrafted cacti leather is still handcrafted moving on <laughs> as, we, as we move through the dread fortress Lord of Fate searching for Thea once again because she's never where she needs to be. Uh, uh, starts to hear noises coming from the throne room. Um, as the Lord of Fate peeks his head into the throne room, sees Thea sleeping in his throne, slowly approaching, tiptoeing trying to get very close and not wake her up and he's going to bend bend down and put his face right into Thea's face are you enjoying your nap <laughs> and she'll quickly kind of flutter away wiping the drool that had been pouring from her mouth like a waterfall I'm fine <laughs> You know what? This is this is this. I could put up with a lot of a lot of bullshit, but this is the last straw. This is it. You're is sleeping it? in my throne. That is it was, that is where I'm drawing the line. You're no, 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 you, I, you're fired. I didn't know. You're I fired. Didn't me. I didn't mean to fall asleep. I was there nope, working, nope, and I thought, what would nope. what would the Lord of Fate want? Nope. And I was thinking, like, oh, and he would want you to sleep in, in the shoes. throne. But you wouldn't want me to put your actual shoes on, right? Like, so I thought if I can't put in, get into his shoes to see how he thinks, I could at least sit where he sits. So I thought if I put my butt cheeks where you put your butt cheeks, then I would be able to think just like the Lord of Fate. You you thought that it was inappropriate to put your feet where my feet have been, but not yeah. to put your butt cheeks where my butt cheeks have been. Oh, uh, I put a towel down first. What? What is that? What is, it doesn't matter. You're fired, so, uh... No, but I was really working hard. Plus... Hand in your clipboard. The good hand in, hand in the clipboard. No, but you'll notice... Oh, and she'll hand over the clipboard. But if you look at it, you'll notice that I put together a really good match for tonight that will probably get me rehired because it's very good. It's, like, super, like, butt cheek impression good. Like, it's worth it! Like, you see that, and you're like, that, that is, that's... That's... A good, well-worn path that everyone is going to find cozy and fits just perfectly how... You know, like, there are some seats that just cup your butt cheeks nicely and you sit in fine, it. Fine, and fine, fine, like, fine. Okay. feels like home. Enough. And, I don't need to hear you okay. talk about butt cheeks anymore. Uh, you're, you're on probation. The probationary period. I'm going to give you... I can work with that. I'm going to give you this one death match to prove yourself to me. Or, okay. But if you don't, not only will I yeah. fire you... Oh. I will destroy you. Do I get severance? Something will be severed, yes. Oh, okay, that works for me then. I will put my severance on the line for this. Don't worry, I brought in two amazing fighters who were like, last time you were like, whoa, that was great. Even though you didn't say it, I read your mind, even though I can't read minds, but I thought I could read your mind, and I'm pretty sure you were like, that was fucking awesome, Taya. You should bring them back. And so that's what I did. So, would you like to meet them? Uh I would like to do anything that involves you no longer speaking to me. Oh, uh, I have to speak to say their names so I can pull them through the portal. So you can speak, just not to me. Oh, she turns to face the wall. Please, allow me to introduce our two champions for this evening. And she'll clap her hands and that wall in front of her begins to fade away in a pink bit of glitter dust. I bring you... 
Ragu versus Teddy. Ooh, Teddy Oso returning. Uh, Teddy, how many uh, uh, was up to 12,000 zombies last time? How many now? How, how many have you killed? Oh, we're like in the in the thirty thousand range at this point. Thirty, thirty thousand zombies. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. well. I'll make that note for the historical records, and we can update your website profile on the uh, on the Dread Fortress Void oh. web. Much appreciated. How do you how do you kill thirty thousand zombies? Like, is it is it all with the shotgun, or like, do you have like a like a trash compactor? Like, that's a lot of. Well, that's... sometimes you sometimes you go one at a time because you want to enjoy, you want to savor the moment, yeah. and sometimes you just you just like grenade, you just thump. you take like through thirty of them out in once. That's a good. Oh, that's all that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, that's a... true. Whatever your flavor is. It does sound uh. It's a nice way to keep it fresh. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, a little bit of variety helps. <laughs> fresh, cause they're not fresh, cause they're zombies. <laughs> yeah. They're <dead>. Get it? <laughs> yeah, they're dead. <laughs> mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Yeah, Ragu's here! And Theo will quickly hold out her arms in a Vanna White style. Ragu with jazz hands. Ragu. <laughs> Ragu, you remember? Ragu. Yes, from the fight last time, and yeah. you did a really good job. Are you glad to be back? Because I didn't ask permission before just sucking you through the portal, but I thought it'll be fine. Well, I have a choice but to be fine. Because oh, my fine. legs are ready. Ragu is back. Yes. Ragu, AKA. Yeah. Yeah. Is, yeah, your nickname? Yeah. Yeah. All the pimps mad people sometimes, you know. Yeah. <laughs> why are Why are we whispering? Oh, cause we can. I don't I don't get this. It's part of the test. It's Everyone creepy. knows. Yeah. It, it is creepy. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. This ain't loud enough. We need to get a little bit louder. Yeah, a little louder. Let's Let's get loud in the arena. How's that sound? Oh yeah! Now I can do that. And she'll clap her hands again, and the entire Dread Fortress begins to fade away. And we find ourselves still on rocky ground, but everywhere else, bright, open space. I mean, literal space. The vast void now becomes greater, as you can see amongst yourself, infinite stars dotting the sky, a giant purple gaseous planet roaring nearby. You can hear the thunderous storms on the surface of it, but you, on its orange rings, the meteorite's ring, you, We'll find your battle. Yeah, I brought you here because I thought the two of you were out of this world. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> potato, potato, potato. And as a DM, I'm going to say, the audience goes wild laughing at the is joke, finding it absolutely hysterical. They double over, slapping their knee, can't control their uh. just outburst of laughter. As Black the other laughter. DM, as the other DM, I'm gonna retcon all of that. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Proceed. <laughs> What's the matter? No, you don't have anything to say. This is a map, and you're gonna fight. Go ahead and roll for initiative, since none of you laughed, and I hope you all <laughs> actually. No, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna be a jerk. Everybody, for the two of you, you're gonna roll with disadvantage for your initiative because fuck you both for not laughing at my good joke. Wow. You did not instruct when laughter should begin. That's true. You didn't say. You didn't say when to start. <laughs> is that fight. how you feel? Laugh now. Yes, it's too late. You had your chance. I'm not. You should know. That everything Thea says is gold. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, let's do the initial roll. <laughs> All right. Let me say that it's not fair. <laughs> Disadvantage on uh, on your initiative roll. Roll. At least it's fair that both of you get disadvantaged. Twenty, and oh, uh, looks like a ten for Teddy Oso. Ragu, disadvantage on your initiative. Two flat D20s. Two flat D20s. All right, it's time to... Uh... Pimp smack your ass, bitch! Oh. <laughs> Brought the sound. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. A two! 
Oh. That means Teddy Oso is gonna go first. That's right. right. All right. Praise me. Adore me. <laughs> the audience. As the acolytes begin to scream and chant your name, Teddy, and begin to rip off their shirts, spilling blue slushies everywhere as they <laughs> chant louder and louder, Teddy, 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 right. Teddy. Couple of me, couple of me, you know, we, uh, we started selling Teddy Oso shotguns in the concession stands, uh, and so they're, you know, they're firing them into the, into the air, just, you know, Safe. wildly. Yeah. yeah, of course. So, all right. Teddy Oso, you are the first to act in round number one. You are going down. I I keep changing Max. You are going down, Mister Ragu. Ah uh, 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 I, I I'm gonna start off the, the 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 fight a little like calm, and I'm just gonna and I'm gonna like lean into one leg and just you know get comfy, like you know when you like uh mm -hmm. just the weight on one hip like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. Cole's model gonna, pose. I'm just gonna toss my my uh, my axe, all gent gentle like, but with a lot of force behind it. Sure. Very casual to make it look like I'm real tough. A know? casual <laughs> axe. Try bro. hard. Do you make a yeah. sound when you throw it? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's very casual. It's a very casual sound. Do the sound again. <laughs> it's not sound relaxed. <laughs> no, I had to tighten up. You sound constipated. <laughs> All right, roll, roll me attack. Coming in, it's a ten to hit. Ragu, you need to defend. I must defend. Yes. Here we go. Oh! oh! It's a natural twenty. Oh yeah! I'm adorable. Woo! Ragu with a natural twenty. Uh, you are going to gain one uh, adrenaline to start with, and then you are also going to heal for one fighting spirit. You're going to go, you're already, you're topped up, but you're going to go one extra. So yeah. you, it's going to put you up to what, 18 to start? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, obviously that's going to, uh, that's going to not hit. So. How I mean, unfortunate. I did that because I also have 18 fighting space. So now it's, it's, the, it's the even playing field. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was on purpose. Yeah, yeah, of sure. course. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. Very comfortable. Very comfortable. I, I mean, the first one wasn't so great, Teddy Oso. Uh, are you going to keep the casual take? Because Mr. Ragu seemed really prepped for this fight. You know, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. A little, <sighs> bit, little bit of that. Some, some aggressive. I'm, I'm going to keep you guessing. Because <gasps> that's how I'm going to win. Guessing. Don't never know what's coming. Guessing. All right, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do for your second, second action? Yeah. Oh, that's right. I have another one. Uh, uh, I'm to building the suspense. It. That's right. Okay, I'm here now. Um, uh, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my my shotgun, flip it up in the air like a drum major, oh. catch it, and as I catch it, I'm gonna let one round go. Poof. Yes. Whenever I think of immense violence, I always think of drum majors. Wait, what? What, yeah. what sound does yeah. your shotgun make? <laughs> okay. Is that a casual shotgun or a serious shotgun? Yeah, it goes boom. Shotgun. That's a casual yeah. shotgun. <laughs> boom. Yeah. boom. Okay. All right. <laughs> Eight to hit. Ooh. Ragu, you gotta defend. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sure, sure, is good. Good enough. Oh, it is good it enough. Is good enough. Oh. A four to defend. It is gonna hit. And I rolled easy for you. <clears throat> <clears throat> He's floating away into space. <laughs> oh, my chest. <laughs> my chest. Well, I tell you what. Down a little. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Right. We're going to have to make sure you don't fly out into space. Theo will quickly come out with a rope. If you want, you can tether yourself to a rock. <laughs> She'll hand that over to Ragu. Should you want a piece of rope? I don't want a piece of rope. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I just found a way to get back. Oh. With my gravity power. <laughs> That's my weight. Not a. Oh, <laughs> That's 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 good. That's a good one. I'm gonna I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have to good. use that. Good. I'm not fat. I have gravity power. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that, was, that was cute. How much damage did I lose? Uh, you lose one fighting spirit in that shotgun blast, and it is now your turn. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna take my time with you, since you want to be the guy that wants to shoot people with shotguns. You see these chucks in my hand. You're not ready for this. <gasps> I'm gonna pull a Kakarot and I'm gonna hit you really hard. Yeah, all right. <laughs> he says casually. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> and casual. I show. I'm gonna roll. All right, coming up with the nunchucks. <gasps> 19. 19 to hit. That's hit. pretty spicy. The defense. 15. Not enough. Teddy, it's gonna hit. That last hit was on your forehead. Yeah. <laughs> this knock sounds. <laughs> I do this a lot, but I never, never flinch. Never close my eyes. Nope. You keep your Just eyes open it. the whole time. Yeah, like that. What? The entire time. Because <laughs> I'm tough. Take the hit. <laughs> Just ima imagine you getting nut chucked to the face and your eyes are open the whole time. <laughs> Everything just slow motion day. Like a dead stare. Because I'm a tough guy. You ever seen I'm a shock scared. size, Chief? <laughs> dead eyes. All right. That's... So I found a weakness. <laughs> his eyeballs. <laughs> oh. Uh, I was looking at his uh, right knee. I oh. wonder why he's bandaged. <gasps> oh. I'm going to go for an actual power hit right into the knee. Do you know it. You're going to power up? I'm, I'm not going to power up. No, I'm just going to hit him right in the knee. Oh, okay. Hit him. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. My mistake. Do it. I'm not yeah. sure if it was an arrow. You know, I'm not sure if you took an arrow to the knee, but we're going to find out if it's super effective. <sighs> All right. Roll the hit. Going with a knee shot. Do it. Do it. 12 Ten. to the knee. Teddy <laughs> with the defense. Oh, oh, yeah. It's an eight. Oh. It's gonna hit. That's not good. You have to roll higher oh. than the attack to not get hit. Right in the Teddy, are you okay? Okay, I'm in mean, a second. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Uh, what? <sighs> Why bad. was your knee already injured? Because I got bit by a zombie, that's why. Oh. oh. Oh, that explains everything. Um, does that does that mean... He's are you a zombie. Are you going to become a zombie? Is that what's... He's a no, zombie no, with a shotgun. I, every time I kill a zombie, I eat a tiny little piece of it. So and eventually, I just built up an immunity. That's smart. Why has no one ever yeah. tried that before? I don't know. It makes so much sense. Do you eat it raw? Yeah, you gotta. If you cook it, it's it's, it's no good. Question, question oh. though, like because zombies are, are are people, but there's they're still zombies. Do you still get kuru if you eat zombies? That's a good question. You know, I I'm I'm fine. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I seem to be okay. At this point, if you, well, it just you, depends on how many you eat. I guess if you only do small bites of human each time, then it yeah. doesn't get too bad. I mean, collectively, I think I've eaten like I don't know, forty or fifty people, but <laughs> worse, you know. But What's it's the, only it's only like a little tiny chunk at a time. Which no, thirty thousand people add up, you know? Is 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 there uh, which which part of which part are you eating? Like, what's are you all over? Like, are you guys specific? I just I pick a fleshy part. You know, like the the thumb muscle, or like a butt cheek, or like a little shoulder. The thumb? Because cheek. butt cheeks so you, are so very nice. important. <laughs> you think... know, what I do with my own time is my own business. <laughs> hey, I don't blame you, but uh, probably why you feel well. <laughs> don't kiss and tell. <laughs> never, never you kiss and tell. And tell. <laughs> 
Thea's just over here taking <clears throat> notes. That's what eating ass means. Uh, uh, survival. Oh. What are you taking notes on? Because I have your clipboard. Oh, she's just writing on her hand. Okay. That's what one does. Fair enough. <laughs> Obviously. All right. All right. Ragu, you still have one more action in this round. What do you want to do with it? I have another action? You do. Yeah, you got three per round. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Oh, I'm about to fuck you up. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna use a power up. Hey, power oh, up coming in. Up. I'm aiming right to that knee where I just hit. And what Ragu's gonna do yeah. is I'm gonna, since you feel like you're not a zombie, I'm gonna expose yeah. your weakness. I'm gonna get that little tape off of your leg. And I'm gonna beat the zombie back in you that you think you don't have. All right, roll the hit. Okay. Beat him up, beat him up. Three, two, one, go. Ooh. 18. Ooh. Oh! Versus a dirty 20! Misses! Teddy, tell us how you avoid this attack coming straight towards your precious knees. Uh, it's because of my knee. I just, I just, I just take like a big step over like this. <laughs> Cas <laughs> casually, like a side lunge? Yeah. Yeah, like a side lunge. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm back. Cause I got a bag of my spot. I gotta Amazing. be honest. I gotta be honest. You look like you belong in like the uh, the uh, GQ's most handsome men, like the cover. Oh, you know what I mean? You. Especially with the pose. Thanks. Yeah, I got more. <laughs> <laughs> keep them. Keep them in the chamber for right now. You gotta pace these. Oh, <laughs> oh! <laughs> Thea just faints. <laughs> Not prepared. That's right. Oh my. All right, uh, that is three for you, Ragu. That means that is the end of the round. Thea, I need you to roll me a d20. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can do that. It'll be a good number because it's a 13. 13. Yeah, 13. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'll, I'm, all, I'm going to allow it. Yes, because it's good. Thir very good. Ha. You know what else is good? No. The acolytes. Are mm. demanding blood Ice cream. this week. Oh, okay, that was close. You know, we could we could probably do both. We could probably. Yeah. Anyway, they've they've triggered another chaotic event. Chaos! Chaos! All right, Teddy, wanna well, I'm gonna have you a roll flat D twenty coming in right there. Thirteen. Thirteen. Two thirteens in a row. We just need the one from Teddy. What do we got for the chaotic okay. event? Ah! From high above, a glint catches your eye. Is it a shiny bird? A launch trash can? A silver 1998 Chevy Impala with Michigan license plates? Nope! It's a metal chair hurling at both of you. You spent too much time guessing, so roll to absorb that hit. All right. <laughs> need a DC 15 metal save, a defense there. From each of you to avoid the metal chair. Ah. Ooh, 15 for Teddy. Ooh. It is going to succeed. Ragu, nine's going to fail. You're going to take one point of damage to your fighting spirit. Is that I might get hit by big cars. Yeah, it happens to the best of us, and also the worst of us, and just a lot of us. Oh, that hurts a lot. Yeah. Oh, feelings. I'm sorry. No, that fucking hurts. Okay. It, if you win the fight, you can have the 1998 Sheva Impala with Michigan license plates. I don't want that shit. Oh, man. Too, too good for an Impala. Heart. Okay, I right. see. Yeah. Impalas are really highly All rated right. cars of their time. I think. Well, no, actually, I'll take that back. That car was is metal instead so of plastic. I, I, I reconsider what I just said. I apologize for my outburst. <laughs> I accept. You have no choice. I'm already in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Who gave him the keys? Oh, um, I forgot to lock it. Look at this A-track. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
as you get into this 98 Impala and Teddy. Round number two. What are you gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Uh, big muscles are no. That don't scare me. No mu big muscles. Uh, and I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run towards him. And I'm gonna like take a step on his on his arm because he's holding his dunk checks up. Yeah. And I'm gonna like st use like a step, and then I'm gonna grab that long, luscious blonde hair <sighs> with my hands and slam his head down, his face down into my knee. First of all, Teddy, my hair's not blonde. This is ultra silver. <laughs> okay, yeah, can't you one. tell? Obviously. Well, obviously, it's ultra I silver. It luscious. <laughs> it is luscious. <laughs> the luxurious hair. <sighs> All right, taking the knee to the face with a an eight to hit. Need the defense roll from Ragu. Oh, <gasps> it's a natural twenty! <gasps> You got hit with your petty knee. Remember, it got bit by a zombie. You have no strength in that knee. I don't know why you tried that. Fall! Fall! With a, you... uh, mm. with the yeah. nat 20, you're going to gain a, a second adrenaline and you regain a fighting spirit. And guess what? Sitting in my Impala, you think you're going to knee me through a, a car? Yeah? Go ahead. Make my millennium. <laughs> All right, Teddy. So it's still your turn, but you do find that him hiding in the car does impede your attacks a little bit. Okay. Uh, so uh, I, 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him where it hurts, and I'm gonna reach over, open the car door, and rip that car door off. <gasps> All right. Oh, oh, do it! Do it! Hey, don't don't you touch my car! Don't you touch my car! You Seventeen. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh, dirty 20. It misses. As you all know, Chevy Impalas were built to last oh. as you try to rip that door off. It stays on its hinges. Get off my door. This is a beautiful car, beautiful door. Doesn't belong in your hands. <laughs> For a guy that really wasn't into Chevy Impalas, now he really is. It's a small fortress. Hey, don't judge me. <laughs> okay. I respect it. You were open-minded and you changed your mind once you got more information. Who doesn't yeah. fall in love with a Chevy Impala? Teddy, Let me just you tell any... you this. Teddy's just jealous because Teddy rides a motorcycle and doesn't have any doors on the motorcycle. I have better <laughs> gas mileage. <laughs> Ooh, where are you going though? around <laughs> oh <laughs> like chicks and stuff yeah what are their names uh, uh susie and uh and betty yeah never uh, heard Melinda. of them why do they go to another school yeah they go to another school they're too yeah. cool to hang out with you uh, of it's course not it's not funny mm. you don't go to school how many, how many of those chicks are zombies <laughs> uh only half <laughs> half human half Wait, zombie. It's bad yeah, are they half, half human half zombie, or they're like there's two of them and one is zombie, one is not. I know the, the two of them and one is zombie. Usually okay. about fifty percent of the group. Okay. <laughs> Fair. Cause fun fact, not all zombies are violent. Oh. Some just want oh. to be loved. Oh. That's very sweet. I didn't realize that. Do you still have to shoot them, and do you eat them still? Yeah, eventually, because they oh. start smelly and they get real smelly and decomposed, and you just gotta, you know, you just gotta take them out. That's <laughs> naturally. I promise to bathe very often, Lord of Fate. Please don't. No, no, he's onto something here. I think, I think, he I think I should adopt a, a firmer hand with <laughs> the hygiene here at the Dread Fortress. I'm gonna go find some deodorant real quick. Whose turn is it? Ragu. Ragu. It's up to you. Ragu. Says you want to put your hands on my Impala. I'm going to run you over with it. <gasps> and I hope that you are ready. Get your guard up. Oh. Roll. Let's see if I can turn this car on. Did you? There it is. Oh, there it is. Ooh. A mere nine. Nine to hit. Mm. <gasps> nine to defend. It's a tie. 
How do you have the same power as my car? Because I pay attention. <laughs> Don't. Whoa, you pay attention, huh? It looks like your bill's passed due on the attention bill. I'm going to attack again. All right. You both take a fatigue from uh, the tie, but you can attack again. Do it. Do it. Do it. Good Lord. Ooh, six. a six. Shut down with a ten. That's right. How are you getting away from my car? Mm -mm. It ain't working. You know what? I got an idea. I have really long legs. <laughs> you have long legs. Yeah. I have long doors. I'm gonna smack you with the door to try to take. Do it. But before I do, I'm gonna make sure to back up just a little bit more and drive full speed ahead mm -hmm. and smack you with it. Go! Ooh. 18 to hit. That's good. That's good. <gasps> Natural! Yeah! Oh! In your face! Dang! With that nat 20 years, you see that Chevy Impala with Michigan license plates revving towards you, giving a full-on charge. How do you shut this down? And you just did it, my door! Approach? My doors did it! Oh, yeah, I took my axe. I just, just as it was driving by, just a big swing to the axe. <laughs> down the door. Scratch. Took giant gash off of it. Oh. Wow. Your insurance is not going to like it. I don't like it. <laughs> Me insurance. no like. How dare you? You live for now. All right. With the natural 20 defense, Teddy, you regain a fighting spirit. You gain an adrenaline. We are back to 1717 on fighting spirit. Oh, 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 this fight oh, has oh. gone nowhere so far. Thea, I That's need right. you to roll me a d20. It's me, and I will roll a d20, and it'll be a good roll. Just watch. It's an 18, which is really good. All right, 18. Yes. Very well. Hey, kick us off into round number three. Round number three! Teddy Oso, it's your turn. You got the axe in hand, and the car is injured. That's your startup song. Uh, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I didn't think ahead. I'm gonna <laughs> run over. I want to pull him out of this car because I'm tired of this driving around. Again, grab him by the luscious hair. I take it like a, like a nice smell of it because it sounds like he washes <laughs> it a lot and it smells nice. Like some herb, 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 herbal essence or something. And I just yank him out of the car. All right. With a natural oh! 20! <laughs> Oh! With Should've rolled better, Mr. Pizza Sauce. Ooh, pizza sauce. Pizza sauce. Pizza sauce. <laughs> not cool, dude. Not cool. Okay. No, not cool. Use your gravity force to come back to this ground. <laughs> With a uh, with a natural twenty, you gain an adrenaline. You gain a fighting spirit, putting you back to eighteen. And on the hit, is going to deal two damage to his fighting spirit. Nice. Are you floating out in space? Do you need help coming back? First come, of all, come back to us. <sighs> you stole my car. Not cool. It did it technically wasn't your car to begin with. Who was the first to drive it? Oh, I was. I didn't see it. That's true. So then you were. My car is stolen. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Ah, avenge the car! But not yet, because it's not your turn yet. Oh, not yet. <laughs> Teddy, what else you got? And with, with that, with that, just after I yank him off, I'm gonna backflip over his face. I'm gonna land right like by, by like like if he's laying on the ground with his legs open, I'm gonna land land like I'm I'm gonna almost land on 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 the important parts of his lower region, but it's kind of like a fake out, like a, uh, yeah, and on like his just, spaghetti just, and meatballs. Yeah, just a little scare, just scare yeah. tactic, and then yeah. I'm gonna come down with the axe right in the middle of the chest. I need to know. 
<gasps> oh. 11 to hit. 11. And 11. 11. Oh. What's the defense? <gasps> Eight. It's going to hit. Do they usually cry like this when you hit them in the chest with an axe? You don't understand. It's my chest. You know how long for me it took for me to get this type of chest? Yeah, that sexy chest is going to have a big old scar across it now. Oh, man. Right in the areola. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why, but that feels like it hurts more now. <sighs> The sensitivity. I pick up the severed nipple. Put it in my pocket. <laughs> Is that your pepperoni snack for later? <laughs> pepperoni snacks. He does eat people. Well. <laughs> as Teddy slices off a piece of your chest salami, it is your turn. Ragu. It's okay. <sighs> you can come back for this. Do it for the Impala. <sighs> it's too late. Give up. <laughs> I'm going to use the status effect. All right. Yeah. I'm going to apply. I'm going to apply like a blood leak <gasps> towards my nunchucks. Okay. Since you stole my car. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to throw a nunchuck right in the area that you cut as far as that door. Ooh. And I hope it hits you right in your belly button. Oh. All right. It is go belly for that. button. It's very, gonna, very precious belly button. I'm going to go for that attack right now. Three, two, one, go. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, 21 to hit. Mm. 10 to defend. Ooh. It's going to hit. 10 to hit. Oh. Ragu, tell us in great detail how you do this hit. While I apply spikes towards my end of the nunchucks, I rev it up really fast. And I throw it directly into place that this mofo cut. And it aims right in his belly button. Right in the belly button. And uh, he pulls it out and it's bleeding. It's bleed damage all over the place. That's true. Fine. You're bleeding. Fine. Betty, you're going to take fine. one point for that. But also remember at the end of your next turn, if you don't choose to heal yourself, your belly button that's bleeding, you'll continue to take damage. Yeah, you'll take one for the one for the hit, one for the status effect, and you are now bleeding. Bleeding. Hey, Ragu, you got, you got a couple more actions, I think, right? So my next attack is to get my nunchucks back from him he, as he holds it in his hands he's like oh you stupid son of a biscuit eating bulldog i have the nunchucks returned to me and it smacks him right in the face and cuts him as well oh oh they have recall capabilities you know it let's go oh hey with the five <laughs> <laughs> 30 you 20 make, to defend you make the call it missed and we all are waiting for something to happen and nothing happened. <laughs> it may have missed, but what you realize is when I got my nunchucks back, the spike is not there. It's still in the car. And I activated a button on my nunchucks to explode the spike, which leaves nails everywhere. All right. Attack number three. <laughs> Roll the hit. Do it. It's a, it's a grenade of sorts. Will it hurt with Ooh, a seven? seven hit. There's a chance. It's not good with the not 15 good shutting it down. <laughs> not How at all. How do you dodge so good? I don't know about you, but just try rolling high in numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Touche. Daddy, don't give away your secrets. No, it's, it's no secret. It's... Is 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 common knowledge? It's common knowledge. I'm just repeating the, the the, zeitgeist. Yeah. 
Yeah, of course. Of course. Everybody, everybody knew no that. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that was actually a really big word. I had to write it down so I could look it up later. Yeah, look it up later. Good thing. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Thea, why don't you practice that strategy by rolling us a d20? Oh. Okay, the round. I will roll really high. And oh my oh, gosh, oh, I did it! Ah! I did that. I, I thought, I'm going to roll high. And then I did. <laughs> Natural <laughs> 20. That will immediately trigger another chaotic event! Gosh, that's right! It's all natural, baby! Boom! Oh. No inflated numbers here! Ragu, give us a flat D20 roll to see what the chaotic event will be. All right, let's do it. Roll it, roll it. <gasps> An 18. 18! All right, all right, all right. Also, can I make a petition that since I rolled a nat 20, I could keep my job? Uh, it's it's more of a holistic. Re don't worry, I'll, it'll go into the review. Got it. So yes, with an eighteen, shivering, a tiny chinchilla approaches both of you. Its sad big eyes look up at you, desperately begging for warmth. Seeing you as the best option to heat their tender icy paws, the tiny chinchilla begs you to pick it up. So roll to snuggle, or else your chinchilla gets frozen. Roll a 15, a DC 15 metal save is what we need. Told you, this was just chaotic. It doesn't have to make sense. Teddy will save with a 17. Let's just shoot a B, right? Yeah, your, your defense, yeah. With a oh. failure, Ragu, that, you will actually take two points of damage against your fighting spirit as this is the second chaotic event. You've lost so much blood. You're so cold. You have no body heat. Your chinchilla slowly turns into a tiny ice cube. <sighs> Teddy Oso, how do you keep your chinchilla warm? Uh, I stick them in my jacket pocket. <clears throat> you know, I got some. I got like a. I got like a like a like a sweat rag in there. That's keeping them pretty warm. That's good. That's good. He'll sit in there and chill until you take him out. It's yours yeah. now. He's a chin chilla. Chinchilla. Chinchilla. Chill, chill, chill. Because they're chill, chill, yeah, yeah, chill. No. Is it chilly chinchilla chillin'? Chilly, chilly, chill, 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 chill. <laughs> they're also Chilean. Oh, they're Chile Chilean chinchillas <laughs> who are chilly chillin' in his pocket? Yes. Okay. Making sure. Making sure I understood what's happening here. Everyone knows chinchillas are from Chile. Obvi obviously. <laughs> Obvious, yeah, obvious. Of course. I've, I've watched National Geographic plenty of times. Whose turn is it? Teddy? Okay, Teddy's turn. Round number four! <laughs> uh, uh, um, um, I'm going to walk over, flip my gun, and like, uh, uh, this is one of my famous moves, and I'm going to like golf, golf swing, uppercut to the face. All right. Oh, classic. Oh, eight to hit. That's okay. 18 oh. to defend. It's going to miss. Yeah. Weave. Weave. Motherfucker. Weave. And then, and then I'm going to use my uh, my other action to remove my status effect. Oh, so good I don't idea. keep dying. Mm. All right. Smart. Status effect gone. Ragu, it's back to you already. That's right. It's your turn, Ragu. You have to do Already, both. Huh? You have to fight. You have to fight like he your car depends your... on it. He got rid of the effect. Ah! <sighs> okay. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. <sighs> Usa. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do this. What? You, you have been bullying me this whole time. Mm -hmm. He has dodged. He has cut the car that I was driving in. Yeah. He got rid of his status effect, and he has more health than me. <gasps> That's yeah. fair. He does. And All of those are true. <laughs> oh. Listen, oh. I want to. I want to use. I want to extend my nunchucks. I'm going to put the two together. Yeah. And I'm going to hit him with a ranged attack. Do it. 
And here we go. It's gonna go right in your face. Like just just right in your face. Just right in your face. That's a pretty good face. 15 to hit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Five Woo! to defend. It's gonna hit. Yeah, this is for my areola. <laughs> <laughs> For the nipples! <laughs> oh, wait. Is the chinchilla in the same pocket as the nipple? <laughs> if you get it back, it's going to be covered in hair. I'm going to need to get my areola back. There's, they shed a ton. I, 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 I need to get my areola back ASAP. Oh, oh, look, my, my, next, my, my, next, my next attack is going to be a mug. I'm going to get my areola back. <laughs> You can try. See if you can swipe your areola back. I'm going to get my areola back. Let's go. Lay him. All right. 13. He's not bad. Yeah! 12. Snatch, yes. Snatch it back. Right. Yes. I'm going to use my last move to heal myself. Oh, you want to heal? Yeah, I'm stitching my areola back, so I'm healing. All right, you need to uh, make a, a DC 12 metal save. You need to roll your defense. Why is my areola so hairy? <laughs> you, you, the rest, like your chest isn't hairy at all. It's just your one nipple now. Roll the, uh, roll the, roll the defense. See if, see if you're successful on the heal. And you are. You heal for one fighting spirit. Yes. Uh. You know, now I gotta find my. I gotta use this blade to shave off his hair. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Accidentally cuts it off again. <laughs> that could be an effect. <laughs> Hurt yourself. No. All right, end of end of round number four. That was a fast one. Thea, give me a d twenty. Yeah. Oh, and for chat's question, it's not called a furry nipple. It's a fuzzy navel, and there's a slippery nipple. Those are the drinks you're thinking of. Of all of all the nipple drinks, is a fifteen. <laughs> okay. Just I, I, I saw noted. information and I thought I could provide clarity. Maybe it's a new drink that you've never heard of. It was a slippery nipple. If <laughs> Maybe a hairy nipple is is a new thing that you don't know about. <laughs> What's the last time you went to a club? Are we gonna offer that in the concessions now? The furry nipple? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> hairy nipple was my uncle. <laughs> Do you call him Uncle Nipple or Uncle Furry? Uncle Nipple. Uncle Nipple. It rolls better off the tongue. It does. Nipple's very fun to say. Nipple. 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 Uncle Nipple. 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 <laughs> Yo, Uncle Nipple. See? Nipple. Cool. Nipple. All right. Give me the nipple. Number Sorry, round. Sorry, we're all having fun saying nipple. Lord of Fate, you should probably say it too. I don't want to say nipple. Every ah, you, you just said, said it. <laughs> we win. All right. What's the next round now that we've correctly <laughs> made sure that everybody said nipple? Round number five. But before that round begins, I think it's time to shake things up oh. just a little bit. With the it hairy nipple? No, we just, I'm, try, I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to do a thing here. Like oh, I thought you were making the drink. This is not looking good for you on the review. I'm trying the, the box yeah. of, box of, box of chaos box whatever box of oh, chaos the bo oh box of chaos <laughs> yeah, 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 and yeah. like a shooting star landing on the ground we see a beautiful pink and yellow chest mm -hmm. with flames mm -hmm. bursting out of it mm -hmm. a small creepy little hand as the box of chaos flips open and that shadowy figure creeps its way out of the lid. You, uh, you both can sacrifice an action to receive a magical item of some sort, should you wish. The Box of Chaos is now in play. And Teddy, it is your turn yeah. to act in round number five. Box. Oh, a box instantly. The box creaks open. The shadowy figure looks out. What, uh, what do you got to trade? Um... I got this guy's wallet that I found. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Give me that. As he takes the wallet. I haven't. Go ahead. I haven't looked through it, so there might be some cash in there. Yeah, yeah, I can do something with this. Uh, Regu, what's in your wallet? <laughs> the hell? 
This motherfucker stole my wallet. <laughs> what's, what's in it? Look, uh, it's an old uh, water fruit snack. Uh, a, 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 a gift card, tropical smoothie. Um, and um, a picture of um, a picture of his wife. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Brago. No, he takes of his wife. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh of my of the box's wife or of Teddy's wife? Teddy's wife. Is is your wife a zombie or not a wife? Yeah, she, she, she is now. <laughs> <laughs> the box brain. The box oh. takes the wallet, slams the lid shut. The box begins to rumble and shake. I need you to uh, let's roll a flat D twenty for Teddy. Eighteen as the box rumbles <laughs> before the lid flips open again. That column of pink and fire. Pink and yellow fire shooting into space now. And that black hand extends itself of shadowy nature. And it presents to you a blue slushy. How the box got a slushy machine, we'll never know. But the cold, sweet nectar hits your lips and all your problems melt away. That'll also be $14.97. Drink to clear one fatigue for free. Nice. All right. You have one fatigue clear for free, and you still have another action. Uh, I'm, uh, um, I'm gonna, can I, can I apply a status effect? Yeah, yeah, you can oh. do status effect. Yes. I'm gonna pull out, pull out a vial of, uh, of zombie blood. Oh. And Ooh. drench my, uh, my axe with it. And Ooh, take yeah. a swing. All right. <sighs> That's good. <laughs> what was that? Swing. What was that sound? Wait, I, I, really, like I really wish I'd been recording all these. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Roll it. <laughs> all right, roll the hit. It's a nine. Well, seven. Versus a 21. Oh. It's going to miss. Oh. oh. I moved far away because I didn't like the sound of that. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Use the box of chaos. You still have that slushy in hand that you can drink at will to get rid of a fatigue. But Raku, now your turn. Gone. He takes his so one did fatigue gone. Fatigue gone. Drinking the slushy. Got it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use the box myself. <gasps> All right. You approach Tight. the box and that shadowy figure still hanging out there, admiring the picture of Teddy's wife. Uh, what's up? What, what, what do you want? Oh, I would love to have something special come from this box. I have something to trade. Uh, wait, what do you got? I got these uh, chinchilla hairs that came from my areola. <laughs> Good. Oh, oh. Rarity. That's a, that's a, I don't know. I, I have to, you know what? I'm going to have to call someone in uh, to judge the authenticity of these. I, I, don't, I don't know. Is he, is Trust he... me when I tell you, these are chinchilla hairs. I got my areola cut off, and Teddy decides to put it in his pocket and mix it up with his chinchilla pet that he may still have in his pocket and may be dead, but all I know is that I got my areola back and it had chinchilla hairs on it, so I had to shave it off. What, what? If you want to prove the authenticity of this, here you go, here's a sample. It's a, I mean, it's a good, it's a good story, but without some sort of documentation he's he's gonna actually call Thea over oh it's me yeah uh, Hi. Uh, Thea, uh, you're you're the resident chinchilla hair expert here uh, mm -hmm. is this uh what how authentic do you think this is and, and what do you think I can get for it oh you can tell it's authentic you can see from the white hairs and how they split at the ends that's a clear true Chilean chinchilla okay so so brass tax how much do you think these will go for at auction Oh, you could probably get three chinchillas for that. Three chinchillas. I'll be right back. So he slams the lid shut, and the box begins to rumble and shake again. <laughs> Roll us a flat D20, Ragu. Ooh, a five. Okay, what's a five going to get him as the box rumbles and shakes? 
You receive the shield of the Golden King. Ooh. Behind its golden gleam, your metal increases by plus one. All abilities impacted by the metal also increase by plus one. And on a nat one defense roll, the shield is destroyed. All right, Ragu. Well, well, well. Your metal goes up to a plus three. Your fighting spirit also goes up by one as long as that shield maintains. Yes. I told you. I hope I hit you with this gold shield. Yeah. Right in your right in your face. That's what I'm gonna go for. Right. I'm going to hit this guy with the shield. Get behind me. Roll it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Twelve to defend. It Eleven misses. versus twelve. Shut down. It turns out shields are typically more defense items. Anyway, everybody knows that. That was the plan. Just to get a little closer. To hit him with a range attack with my jointed nunchucks. Yeah! <laughs> Smart! With a 12! No! 18 to hit. Or to defend, it misses. <laughs> Do I have any? <laughs> that's, it that's... helps if you aim a little bit. Go for his face. That's the three actions, though. And... <laughs> Uh, the frustration. It's okay. It's okay. You have to breathe. Look at me, Ragu. You need to say uh, your name. You need to empower yourself. Ragu. 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 Yeah! It'll be I'm good. Wondering. I'm going to hurt you now. Well, All right. Next round. <laughs> next round. Maybe at some point, you'll get around to it, I'm sure. It's got to warm up a little bit. Actually, I would like to warm up a little bit, too. It's a little cold in space. Can we take, like, a 10-minute break or something like that? That's fair enough. I could go. Uh, I could uh, see about getting one of those uh, hairy nipples. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they're right. really delicious. <laughs> All right. Acolytes will be back in 10 minutes. The Dread Fortress is pleased to announce Logitech G is now an official sponsor for Season 5 of D20 Deathmatch. Whether you're in the arena, adventuring vast landscapes, or cruising through space, Logitech G products help gamers achieve amazingly immersive gaming experiences. Play at your peak with the highest performance gaming equipment. Today, Logitech G wants to send one acolyte home with their very own Logitech G Lytra Beam and Blue Yeti Blackout Microphone. All you need to do is type Logitech G in chat to be entered to win. A winner will be chosen after the break. To be fair, dear Arbiter, you might want to check and make sure that you have not accidentally been castrated in this. Um, Grandmaster, I think you misunderstood me. Yes. It was the brand of castigation. Castigation? It's in, yes. it's in the D&D rulebook, the brand of castration. You heard it here first. Listen, there are a lot of spells out there. I'm sorry for not knowing that there may or may not be a spell of castration. What a weird spell that would be. Yeah. While we contemplate the castration process and how Sunazar may or may not have castrated someone in Great segue. Life. Great segue. Like, Acolytes, do you love the amazing players we've had on the show week after week? Do you enjoy when chaos events reign supreme in the arena? Well, know that it's all thanks to your bits, tips, and subs. Your dollar increases our chaos bar and helps us pay the talented folks on our show. For those of you who have already given, thank you so much.
Here we observe the terrifying chinchillas. As they are unionized, they're quite dangerous. Their fluffy bodies hide many knives, and they're known to trample a champion or two. If you would like to tap into the ferociousness of these terrible monsters, check out our chinchilla shirt in our store. Nice dice, Dice Daddy. Good roll, Dice Daddy. That's it, Dice Daddy. Don't be shy. Get in there. Thanks, Dice Daddy. Dice Daddy. in the next life and as my breath fades i'll just pull the edge of my kilt up just high enough <laughs> <sighs> take a good look and tell your mother she was amazing <sighs> i will Mr. Biscuits, and he is lonely. As a 10-year-old senior, he's looking for a silver fox who will bark up his tree. This little fellow loves frolicking through the fields and is always willing to share his bone. Bonus points, Mr. Biscuits is a great listener and has never understood the phrase of too much yapping. As a heads up, this little puff pastry is a nudist and fiercely rejects clothing of any kind. At his age, he's learned it's okay to let it all hang out and is looking for someone to take naked walks along the beach with. Interested in Mr. Biscuits? Be sure to download our senior dog dating app, Dinder, to get started. Bow wow, Mr. Biscuits.
Welcome back, Acolytes, <clears throat> to the yeah. second half of the death match. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Go, here we go. 14-14. We are all tied up here in space on this rocky asteroid floating in the rings of a gaseous giant as we move our way into round number six. Six. Teddy, you're the first to act here. Uh, I would like to use my heroic surge. Oh, right out the oh. gate. Let's go. Oh. I'm going to open up a little book. I'm going to learn all kinds of things. And I'm going to use it for an extra to action. Oh, I you learned how to, I learned how to do an extra action. Oh. Okay, using your heroic surge for the first time in the arena to gain a permanent action for the rest of the fight. You now have three actions per turn. You now have two actions left this round. Yes. Uh, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, oh, yeah. Yes. yes. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run towards Mr. Marinera and I'm gonna kick him in the chest. And try to like knock him down, like like that, because <laughs> okay. I have ideas. All right, Do it. show us your ideas. With a dirty twenty. Oh. <gasps> Versus a nine, it's gonna hit. Oh. <gasps> Float across oh. space. And I immediately, immediately follow that up with a, with a jump to the air. Cannonball to the face. <clears throat> oh, cannonball. I'm impressed that you have a cannonball. I mean, those are hefty to carry around. No, it's the thing where you jump and you grab your knees and you land on oh, your butt. Oh, that cannonball. Okay. Yeah. That can That's smarter. I misunderstood. I'm so sorry. All right. You're coming in with a cannonball. To the face. Specifically. 13. Specifically. Oh! Versus a five. No! <laughs> oh man! Why? All right. Because I'm the best. That's this, you are the best. You went for the chest first, then the nipple, and then the face. You have some very targeted attacks. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's, it's, it's all the zombie fighting. I learned how to how to be specific. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that is uh three actions. Now for Teddy Ragu, what do you got? Well, after being hurt so much. Uh, is it about time I use my heroic surge? <gasps> Whoa! Oh! A response with a response. I said that. What are you doing with yours? I'm going to increase my powers by three. <gasps> by five. Oh, and I God. also have a melodic voice. Ooh. Oh. That's my five. My bad. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know my own math anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I just got cannonball doing. I'm just, I'm just trying to catch up on things. I'm sorry. You're my good, math, you're good. math is not mathing. Try okay. to hit for five. We math for you. What are you doing with your melodic voice? I'm going to make the most annoying sound in the world. Oh. Because it seems like everything else doesn't work. Let's see <laughs> if this status effect helps make them weak. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to roll first because I got to do it. <laughs> okay. Roll the hit. See what it sounds like first. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ten. That's a 10. That's average. Oh no! Natural twenty! Oh. Oh, it looked like it worked out just fine. <laughs> it does not hit Teddy. You gain a third adrenaline, and then therefore you gain one fatigue. But you also <laughs> heal for one point. Uh, if you're fighting spirit. Yes. <laughs> and there it is. As you Ragu. push yourself to the limit, you gain that fatigue. Uh, it's not a bad uh, idea. Uh, 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 I laugh. <laughs> what sound does come out instead while Teddy's awful laugh is going on in the background? 
Well, it seems like chewing on fruit snacks in his ear doesn't help out. So here's my next attack. <laughs> With my heroic surge. Do it. You just use the heroic surge. Wait. That it? Yeah. The chewing it? Oh, you are lucky. You can use the power of though and do three times the damage. Yeah, I can do that. Do that. Yeah. Yeah, I want to do that. Gonna cheat. That's good. That's I'm good. Trying. I'm going to do. Yeah. That's much better. That's dirty. a dirty 20. Dirty 20. Oh, wow. It's a tie. Oh. That was pathetic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> Both of you gain a fatigue. You both have two fatigues now. That's good. That's good. That's good. Shake it off. Ooh, rough. It's okay. It's not great. You you have one more, but it probably either has to be a status effect or a normal attack. I don't want to do anymore. <laughs> Every time I get a high roll, this morpho matches it. Okay. You could, you could, I know what you could do. You could sit and cry. That's what you could do. <laughs> mm. That's where you're wrong. Ooh. Because you forgot about my my shield that I have up. <gasps> oh. So I'm gonna hide this shield. Okay. And try to smack you again, but this time I'm hitting your toe. The big toe, you're gonna lose your balance and fall. Okay. Are you applying the status effect to that then? Nothing. I just want to fall. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. 17 versus a 15, it misses. Oh, man. Oh, for keep three. <laughs> Don't. I'm not even trying. Oh. <laughs> End of the round there. Give me a D20 I really roll. broke a sweat. No, no, no. Look at me, Ragu. You cannot give up. There is no one who has prettier locks than you. No one that has a prettier stash than you. And you no at one. least have one good areola left in you. Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. you go down now, you're going to lose both your nipples. Lose my life, <laughs> and, that's and that therefore too. your nipples, and therefore you're also your nipples. Priorities. I think I'll be fine. That's right. You're gonna be more than fine, Ragu. You're gonna show them how it's done next time around. Here, let me show Maybe. you. I'll, I'll show you all. Here, this is how you roll well. Well, that's average. Average. But you know, it's fine. It's average, but it is enough to trigger another chaotic event. Oh, this is the yes! most chaotic event! Number three. This one will deal three points of damage on a failed save. That's right. We're trying to get you all. Go, 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 go. Who gets to roll for this one? Is it you, Lord of Fate? Uh, is it you? I can, sure. You should roll. Let's see what we get. It's a nine. nine. That's sad. No, I was aiming you for a nine. Roll. Very well. No, you didn't. No, I was aiming for you... it. Ah! Suddenly, from the stands, you both hear a group of children scream out, You dress like me, Ma! You don't have enough nipples! <laughs> a small horde of children <laughs> hurl insults in both of your directions. <laughs> Their painfully accurate and hurtful observations categorize them quite clearly as big buttheads roll to block the psychic damage as they begin to insult you damn you kids dc 15 metal save your defense teddy your saving your is compensating yes. for something ragu also saving no one takes any damage that's why your meemaw nipples are hairy in this chaotic all event the kids off. just all of them fuck you kids <laughs> Fuck them kids. <laughs> All right. We're very mature here. Yes. <laughs> Beginning of round. Uh, what is this? Number seven. seven. Holy shit. We're almost out of cards. We are out of cards. Round number seven. Round That's seven. Right. 
Seven, seven, seven. I will say that if you don't murder each other soon, the thing gets to murder both of you. Good luck. <laughs> Daddy, what do you got? So, Three actions. Uh, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run in like in like a spinning like a my my axe and spinning in like a drummer. <laughs> like I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the other nipple. Regular I'm attack. Run towards or you, and just... are you using anything else? Oh, can I use a power up? Yeah. I'm gonna power up my nipple nipple slicing attack. Nipple slicer incoming. <laughs> Five to hit. Oh, it's a natural one! Oh, yes! It is! No! It is! Ragu! No! <laughs> Rag I don't even have to roll good. Oh my god, Ragu. You are going to take three points of damage for the power up. You're going to take one point of damage for the nat one. That's four total. You also are going to gain a third fatigue. And I and lose my shield. My and you lose your shield, which you makes your health your go down one more because uh, of the your defense going down. Woo. Oh no! That gold shield shatters into a tiny million pieces. Oh, don't worry, Theo will clean this up. Ah. <sighs> Ooh, this is getting <laughs> spicy, and Teddy still has two more actions. Very, very, like, very slowly uh, reload my shotgun. Take like, your time. I, make, I make a spectacle out of it. A spectacle out of it. Yeah. I take a, I take, I take a little, uh, a little, a little piece off the nipple and toss it to the side. I'm just a uh, shotgun to the face. No. You, you also have some power ups if you'd like to hit a little harder. Let's do that. All right. You got one more power up <laughs> left. You're going to use it. All right. Here it comes. Shotgun to the face. 16 to hit. Eight to defend. It's going to hit for three. I am invincible. I just want to provide a little clarity in those moments that the fighting spirit is four to 15 at this moment. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what's next. Well, Where what's dying? I mean, what's does next is Teddy attacking again, probably. <laughs> does, does Ragu have an afterlife that he's planning on? Rose, what? <laughs> I gotta say, I feel real good about myself right now. No. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm just after that shotgun to the blast to the face. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put away the shotgun and just go for like a, like a, like a football punt. <laughs> to the crotch. Okay. Are you wanting to apply a status <laughs> effect on everything. this? Uh, yeah. Uh, um, uh, uh, soprano. We're gonna call it soprano. Uh, and um, it's just gonna, it's just gonna sting for a while. All right. Status <laughs> effect attack coming in. <laughs> It's gonna do the thing where it hurts your belly, where it just clicks climbing up and it goes into your belly. <sighs> 13 oh. to hit. Ooh! Oh. 30, 20 to hit. not dead yet. That's right. Rosebud will not be your final word. You can do this. And I will. I shall. Yes. And I will overcome these objections. Do I have any more power-ups? You have two status effects, and that is it right now. Okay. I'm going to use status effect of regeneration. Yeah. Yeah. Effect siphon. I'm going to siphon. Oh. So whatever I hit on force for his damage, I get that in return. Uh, fuck it all out. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <sighs> Good. I'll allow it to. <laughs> okay. We make up the rules. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking fine. 
I'm just gonna go for what I know. I'm just gonna attack. I have nothing left. Okay. I feel like my life is slipping away. <clears throat> right. I'm just gonna go ahead and go for it. One time status effect. It's a oh. four to hit. <laughs> Eleven to defend. It fails. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, man. I'm just gonna keep attacking until I get something, man. Don't have a lot of choices. This is my last stand. Oh. Oh, it, it actually should be a 12, but that's fine. That works. It misses. I'm gonna swing one more time. That's all I got left. Do it. It's a 14. That was pretty good. It's not good enough. 18 to defend. What's it look like as you just attack and attack and attack and nothing's happening? What's it, what do these look like? Looks like my fate is near. The only thing that's colorful is my boots. So let's go out with style. <laughs> that is the Your end boots. of the... Your boots do look styling as we close out this round. Do you need a roll for me? Yes. Might as well. Is a good one. As a 13, because that's a lucky number. Got it. Okay. Round number eight. We don't have a card for this. Teddy! Oh. Do some uh, fucking damage. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, I, at this point in time, I start feeling bad about the whole situation. Because <laughs> I'm feeling like I'm just taking advantage of the poor dude. But like, so I look at him like just, and, and I mouth real quietly. And then, and then, and then I take, I take my, uh, my, the butt of my gun and I come down. Cause he, he's looking down cause he's so sad. Just back of the head. Oh. All right. Let's go. Will it be effective? Oh! <gasps> That's a natural one. That's okay. It's fine. It's fine. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Gain of fatigue, you lose a fighting spirit. On that natural one, you still have you know what? two more. Okay. Oh, I missed that. So Good. then uh, I, I, I come down, and then I go back to uh, to the golf swing again. Yeah. To the face. That's right. You better fully commit this time. No sympathy. No sympathy. Yeah, that, that was my problem last time. Yeah. And bad. maybe no. this time. Oh, I just talked to you a little bit. <laughs> more to hit. Four to defend! It's a tie! <laughs> what is this? Wait, are you both just suddenly getting real shy now that we're at the end of this? Wow. Like, it, it roll well. <laughs> no. What in the hell? I demand something better. You both well, have four fatigues now. Next one to get in that one is dead. <laughs> a tie kills you both. A tie will kill you both. Go ahead. Uh, also, Go a nat ahead. twenty, a nat twenty will kill uh, Ragu as well. That's true. Okay. I have one more. Do I have one more? Uh, yeah, one more. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, one more. Okay, I'm gonna run to the Impala. I'm gonna run to the Impala. Get in the Impala. I'm gonna try to run him over with it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> His own car. Get him. <laughs> Get him. Impala attack coming in. <gasps> Dirty 20! Ooh. Oh! 14. It's gonna hit. That hurts. Boom, boom. Should. <laughs> Should. All right. Teddy running him over with the car. Ragu, as you get hit by your own car, it is your turn. <sighs> I gotta keep going for the hits, man. Uh -huh, uh -huh, I gotta uh -huh. keep going for the hits. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in my last stand. Gotta go. Do it. 14 to hit. 10 to defend. It's gonna hit. Yes. It's cool. I have, I, have, I have plenty. You do, actually. <laughs> okay. I'm not wrong. I'm gonna go for one more hit. Come again. Come, again. Come on. 15 to hit. Five to defend, it's gonna hit. 
I'm gonna hit you again. Didn't hit me at this point. Just standing there with my eyes closed. Six to hit. Mm. Fourteen to defend. It's gonna miss. Oh. Well, I uh. Well, I have. Well, I have. That's three. I don't even. Hey, I don't even think we need a roll from you, Teddy. I think we're just gonna oh. kick it to you around number nine. This is the furthest we've gone this season. We've never gone this far before. He's got three fighting spirit left. No you, one has had this level of endurance. You have one status effect left as well. Uh, um, can I apply the status a uh, 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 bloody face? Because I'm going to kick him and I'm going to roundhouse kick him to the face. Yeah. Yep. Yes. You oh, can no, make I it a pride thing. point or bleeding. <laughs> Both are effective. <laughs> I do that thing where you like you like jump and you do the fake kick and then you go and then you do, do the real kick. Oh yeah! I do one of those. Fourteen to hit, <gasps> eight to Ooh. defend. It's gonna hit for two, and you now have a bloody face status effect. Oh gosh! And then you have I land. One. I land, and uh. I immediately go for another one. But it's like. Doo, 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 doo. It just in keeps spinning. Though. In oh. slow motion. This is GG's. Because if I get that 20, I'm dead anyway. 21. <laughs> Five to defend. In that moment, slow motion does indeed happen as it begins to spin your leg coming in for that second kick. It hits in the jaw, dislodging that gorgeous manscaped face of Ragu, completely cracking it off its hinges. The crowd also in slow motion taking in this moment. Blue slushy spilling everywhere as their voices scream out in your victory. And even in this slow moment, Ragu, you see that foot coming for you. You feel it make purchase. What goes through your mind? Hey. It's official. You still a bitch, though. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> a voice echoes from beyond the grave. <laughs> Apparently, as Ragu floats into, into orbit, <laughs> flying off body beginning to freeze just like the chinchilla that he failed to save earlier the roundhouse got me <laughs> here i died to a fucking roadhouse kick <laughs> tell my float. wife prego i tried be well I'll tell her you tried. Blech. As that tongue sticks out, it also gets icy cold, frozen, and you float out into space. That leaves our one champion still standing in orbit. Feet on the ground. Teddy Oso, you are victorious, taking another life today. 30,001! <laughs> See, I told you, look how good they did. Teddy also is our champion. Don't I earn my job, Lord of Fate? Uh, you know what? I'm. We're this far into the season. I really can't afford to, re to replace you right now. So it's more of a logistics thing, but sure. You could, whatever. Here's your clipboard. Yeah! And Thea comes flying towards you, grabbing you by your stomach and swinging you around in a victory swirl. Ah, I didn't even <laughs> have to throw you this time. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to go anywhere. But you do get the Chevy Impala. You can take it home with you today. A brand Amazing. new car. Yes. <laughs> Acolytes, as the Lord of Fate stands up, flaring his white wings. The night has been filled with a lot of blood, a lot of chaos, 
and uh, one Mostly Chevy ragus. Impala. Yeah. Sorry, what, Teddy? Mostly ragus. Blood. Most mostly ragus. That's true. He is he's it's frozen now, but he's a lot of blood. But the season is almost over, as the season of death matches will come to a close next week. But for the first time ever in the arena, here, maybe not this specific arena. There'll probably be a different one. Different, whatever. The very first D20 death match, Royal Rumble. Four champions will enter the arena, but only one will leave. Why? Welcome and good night to D20 Deathmatch! Death